Super Smash Bros. Melee has 26 characters, but let's be real, some characters matter more than others. Who do you think are the faces of Melee? They're Fox, Falco, Marth, Sheik, Jigglypuff, Peach, and Captain Falcon. Ah yes, the fan favorite. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Captain Falcon is actually really lame. Can you explain why top players hate Falcon? Because Falcon's just really f***ing annoying and good. People, like, lose it for Falcon. And it's like, well, you know, Falcon's actually black as shit like everybody else. Okay, so I think Falcon, Falcon's aerials all link into each other under every circumstance and always kill you. Falcon players think it's cooler if right. you do a different order. Players such as S2J yeah. often do many orders, like up, back, forward. And I think if Wizrobe did that, he would actually be a cool Falcon. Because he could just stop doing up, 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 and do like up, back, forwards, back, forwards. You know? I think, uh, I think Falcon's like really cringy. Like, I don't get why he announces all his moves. Like, it isn't an anime. You're gonna learn about one of my favorite moments ever. When Captain Falcon got smacked back to reality. When a seemingly average Joe pulled off one of the most anticlimactic upsets, and how it was just the start of one of the greatest underdog stories in Melee history. Think back to high school. What do you remember? Did you play an instrument? Maybe you were a theater kid. Whatever the case, it's probably not as impressive as what Wizrobe was doing. To every Falcon hater in 2015, Wizrobe is our worst fear. He's only 16 years old, and in two years of taking the game seriously, he's making national top eights. When he grabs you, make no mistake, he's playing a one-player game. Right now, he has to beat Dart to get to top 8 at Smash and Splash. Dart is an enigma. If he can afford it, he'll go to a major and do alright, but for the most part, he doesn't leave the Midwest. However, Dart is not your run-of-the-mill hidden boss. If you want to know what's really interesting about him, Dart destroys Captain Falcon. Wait a sec, a Marth player is known for beating Captain Falcon. I mentioned before that some melee players hate Captain Falcon, so I'll tell you why. He hits like a truck. He's so fast and really difficult to chase down if he's playing defensively. So unless you play a character that has the tools to pressure him up close, you're just not allowed to have fun. Ugh. People go crazy over Stomp to Knee, but if you think about it, isn't Stomp to Knee just two aerials? God, it's like all of his moves combo into each other. Ugh, I hate this piece of shit character so much! You see, Dart doesn't like Falcon either. In fact, Dart has practically dedicated his Smash career to destroying every Falcon player in the Midwest. No one was immune to this, not even Dark Reign. Of the seven times these two played, the only set that Dark Reign ever won was a bracket reset of a tournament that Dart ended up winning anyway. Dart was the best Marth against Captain Falcon in the world. Not Muticing, not Peepee, Dart. He was so good against Falcon to where O'Reilly, the best Captain Falcon in Chicago, briefly tried to counterpick him with Fox. Think about it. O'Reilly switched to Fox to try to beat Marth. Alright, I know I had some choice words about Falcon before. I'll let you in on a secret that every Marth player hates to admit. It only feels like Falcon destroys Marth because we're used to winning all of our matchups. To tell you the truth, it's probably 50-50, maybe even slightly Marth favored.
The start of the set may not look like much, but it'll tell you a lot. Dart keeps Wizardrobe in disadvantage for most of it. Eventually, you'll see that Wizardrobe is put in a terrible situation, and I'll point it out. What's Wizardrobe supposed to do here? Approaching Stomp or Knee? Too slow. Dash Dance Grab? With what space? He could try going off stage and jumping back on stage, but that's easier said than done against a character with a sword. Wizzy's got three real options. Retreating to ledge, Hail Mary dash and grab, or random nair. Did you see that? Dart had whiffed an up tilt in the middle of the stage and he could still smack Wizardrobe's approach. This situation, and Dart's basic understanding of it, as unimpressive as it looks, will define this entire set. Losing sucks. Losing in melee really sucks, especially because there's a lot of infuriating ways to lose. I know exactly how Wizard feels here. When you're losing badly, it tends to snowball, more often than not in the dumbest of ways. Wizard is getting beaten through a wall, there's no getting around it. But now, something truly unfortunate will happen to him. He tries to whiff punish forward smash with knee, and it loses to Marth Down Smash. This Down Smash is almost certainly an input error. But hey, when you're up three stocks to one, you can throw out anything. And if your opponent is angry enough, it will magically hit them. Oh my god. Down, he caught him approaching with a Down Smash. In the first stock of game two, Dart continues out hitting Wizardrobe. But there's a crucial difference that could change the tide of the set. His chain, chain grab game, which is where he's getting most of his burdens. Jeez. Yep, that little jump right there forces Wizardrobe to start going in, and he's oh. ready for it. A B? He can't finish Wizardrobe's stock. This is something you'll hear referred to as Marthritis. Basically how Marth struggles to close stocks if he doesn't get them early. Against Falcon, a character who can kill off a grab at most percents, this is so annoying to deal with. If you're a Wizrobe, you're down, but all things considered, it could be worse. All you have to do is get a grab. With the game getting out of hand, Dart catches Wizrobe by surprise with an aggressive nair toward the corner. When I first watched this, it confused me. Why would Dart do this run and nair? You're supposed to abuse Falcon for his lack of approaches, not run at him yourself. I thought about it a little more, and it's actually great. Dart usually hasn't run at Wizrobe. For the most part, he's held center, staying right outside Falcon's threat range and abusing his lack of an approach. It's precisely because Dart has an approach that right now, he's going to. Wizrobe tries to do a dash dance grab, but unlike before, he has no room to work with. Tilt is a funny thing. Everyone hates getting tilted. It's frequently the players known for tilting others who are the most satisfying to watch it happen to. Wizrobe is an amazing player. He also has a unique reputation for testing his opponent's patience. He takes his time between matches, he tech chases everyone to death, and he's hard to kill. Usually Wizrobe is the one that's causing tilt, not the other way around. What you are seeing right now is one of those rare times where the dynamic is flipped, where you discover a glimpse into the humanity of someone known for choking his opponent's will to play the game. 
This is the face of a guy who hates it right now. A completely broken man. Someone who knows the set is over. Okay. Does he Dart it. choke he wants it. it? He's going for the dare. Well, that was pretty hot. Wow. Oh. Withrow in disbelief. Yeah. He cannot believe how badly he just got bodied, but he definitely got bodied. That, that was double three stock? That was a double three. These two would play once again in Losers, and it's worth checking out if you get a chance. In Game 1, Dart puts Wizrobe on a highlight reel. Then, when it looks over, Wizrobe beats the brakes off him. The rest of the set is a wild back and forth ride, but Wizrobe finally gets his revenge in a strong Game 5. Flash forward to 10 months later. Wizrobe looks better than ever. He's fresh off a fifth place showing at PAX Arena. At this point, probably the best Captain Falcon player in the world. Dart could not be any different. As far as Smash is concerned, Dart hasn't gone to a tournament in five months. And yet after all this time, he still thinks about those Wizrobe sets. Deep in his heart, right next to his burning hatred for Captain Falcon, Dart makes an oath to himself. If he and Wizrobe ever play again, Dart is going to finish what he started. Yesterday, I witnessed the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Wizzy had his phone, right? His phone was open to a fireplace app, and he had an electronic hand warmer. He was just staring at the fireplace. Ooh, nice! Okay, there nice you go. He gets a counter. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh, that's it! Dart had defeated Wizzerobe in the winner's finals, but now the two are playing in grands with bigger stakes. Not only does Dart have a chance to finish what he started, but he could possibly become the first Chicago player to successfully defend the Rubicon series from an out-of-state top player. I think Wizzy's tilted. He's he doesn't not know what to do against this Midwest Marth. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Caught needed. Oh, nice going in. Oh. oh! That's it! That's it! That's it. That's it. Dart had done it. He had defended the Rubicon series, and he had settled the score with Wizrobe. It was the last time that these two would ever play in tournament. <laughs> he can't even stay because... He can't even stay for the interview, He man. needs to go somewhere. Dart would continue playing Melee, but as always, on and off. He would take sets over S-Fat, Drug Fox, Dreffen, and some future stars of the scene you might recognize. Nowadays, he's not active anymore, but he's married and seems like he's doing great. Just don't play on ranked doubles with him if you're a Captain Falcon player. Despite being on the losing end of their rivalry, Wizrobe would go on to accomplish a lot. In 2019, he'd put it all together for his first super major victory. It was in the same series where a humble beginning came a little late to a Smash prodigy. Dart vs. Wizrobe is more than a rivalry in which the underdog came out on top. It's a moment where one person's distaste for a single character pushed him to greater devotion, in his own unique Captain Falcon destroying way. Whatever in Melee that you personally like or don't like is going to be part of it forever. And honestly, I don't want it any other way. That's right, I will admit it, Captain Falcon, like everything else, can sometimes be cool. If Dart's story has taught me anything, it's that even the things in this game that infuriate you can also inspire you, help you discover yourself in a new light, and ultimately, make you love Melee that much more. <laughs>